Lobby cast. I like that. We're recording in a band down by the river. I will probably edit that out. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be constantly have fun. Quote Brad Pitt, what is in the box? Am I the only one that's impressed that Brendan Fraser still gets work? <laughs> not my kid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Welcome to the lobby. Way too much pre show laughing. <laughs> Welcome to the lobby. <laughs> How are we doing this? Welcome to the lobby cast. <laughs> he's, uh, I, mean, I know. He's episode he's open. Episode th- what is the uh, 348. <laughs> Here, I'll translate. <laughs> episode 3. Welcome to. Well, episode three forty eight of the PGL Lobby Cast. You feeling better now? <laughs> My name is <laughs> and your host. Uh, that's the host, uh, Brick. Uh, that may have, that may have been the host is Jeff. I am. And, and and I will. Yes, I got that part. Uh, hey, good evening, everybody. Episode three forty eight, PGL Lobbycast. As you just heard, break Jeff and Will bringing you all the news that is fit to herp <laughs> this week. And we'll explain all this at the very end. So Maybe if you're watching, I'm sorry, I'm listening. Sorry. You'll have to watch all the way to the end to get the reason why we're. Oh yeah, experiencing seriously, dry heat. heat. If you're if you're <laughs> If you're listening, please go back and watch the first couple let's minutes go. on YouTube because let's go. It's some quality TV right there. Quality television. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, uh, so how about the news? What do we do you have? Some news? Uh, kind of. All right. Uh, it, it may be some of your news too. Well, that's fine. All right. Well, let's see what we got. Here's the thing: is you go ahead, and I will then know. If it is also some of mine, and then I will not then do my news. Well, very good. Perfect. Well, as most of you may know, today is the 22nd of October, 2015, which, of course, means that yesterday was the 21st of October, 2015, which means, of course, that a fictional character from a movie from the 80s was supposed to have shown up and watched Jaws 19 and a whole bunch of other stuff, including hoverboards. None of which came true because we suck as humans and we devote all of our money and government resources to entirely the wrong things, like landing little tiny robots on Mars. Gosh darn it, I want my hoverboard. It's disgusting. I, it's a travesty. Well, Absolute it's, travesty. It's not that it didn't come true. It's just at the end of, uh, of Back to the Future 3, he set in motion a third timeline. Oh, yeah. No, and sure. that's the one we're currently on. I see. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I can accept that. Uh, but yeah, so happy post Marty McFly Day. Um, as part of the Marty McFly Day thing, Nintendo released, re-released, I should say, uh, one of their games that was made famous by the Back to the Future franchise, um, which for the life of me, I can't remember the title of, but I'm, I, I don't know. I'll look it up here in just a moment. Because I had it when I started this piece. Well, sure. And it's gone. It was like a shooter game. I, I blame I blame Brick for <laughs> uh, <laughs> just <stuff>. stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, uh, uh, it's gonna be a hard night tonight. Yeah. Speaking of Nintendo, it was yes. Nintendo's 30th birthday. Or ah. n- Nintendo's, the Nintendo Game Boy's 30th birthday. Okay. Very the good. company Very itself good. is much older than that. Yes, the company's been around for quite a while. And the game that I was thinking of was Wild Gunmen uh, in celebration of, of course, Back to the Future. Excellent. So happy Back Which, to the Future Day. Go he, uh, find Wild Gunmen and enjoy yourselves. He played Wild Gunmen in Back to the Future Part 2. two. Mm-hmm. And it was what allowed him to have gunfighting skills in three. Um, very good. Not that he actually had a gunfight with anybody, but he did at the uh, at the little little target shooting thing. Yep. He was able to shoot all at the competition. Yep. Very good. Yep. Nice. Um, I'm really, really, actually, kind of glad that the Jaws franchise stopped. Um, it's painful. 
apropos of nothing, but it's painful to me to to have to watch uh, Sir Michael Caine, a fantastic, fantastic actor, uh, slog his way through Jaws four. It's I, I, never, yeah. I never saw it. Oh man, it's amazing. <laughs> Every time it comes on the cables, it's uh, it's worth a watch just to remind yourself of how good the first one was. Do you only scroll through bad channels? Yes. Okay. That's actually all I pay for. Okay. And how <laughs> far the franchise sunk. So I'm really grateful that we didn't actually wind up with Jaws you, 19. You pay to get disappointed by television. He does. I do. Often <laughs> and a lot. Well, okay. I mean, many of us pay to get disappointed by Many video things. games, many oh, things. video games, yes, video, video games, games. Uh, many things. Yeah, uh, we'll leave it at many things. Will pays <laughs> to get disappointed by mo- movies. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's it's a disease. I can't. I, I have no explanation. There's no that's rationalizing fine. this. Oh no, no, that's fine though. Uh, yeah, that's about all I got for news though. Well, super cool. Um, Covered Back to the Future Day. We yep. covered uh, 30th anniversary of the Nintendo Game Boy. Happy birthday, Mario. Uh, there are a couple other things. Um, Xbox Live now has reached 39 million active users. Wow. So it is quite quite the large service. And I, I'm glad they specified active users because inactive users, you can pretty much say whoever you want. And right. Those, well, those then include guest accounts and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But and they could also theoretically go accounts. back to the early, early days of Xbox Live because I'm pretty sure about half the people in my friends list right now actually no longer even own either Xboxes and or TVs. Blaine, I'm looking at you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Blaine. <laughs> Easy. Take a breath. <laughs> Water. Oh, damn it, Blaine. Here. Every, <laughs> every, every yeah. time. Oh, uh, other big news. This is the other thing that I forgot. For those of you that are fans of Mythbusters, it's, it's over. It's over. It's no more. No, no, no more. And then uh, this you, season, you cannot survive season. without Carrie. Frankly, I was. Which is a very good point. Frankly, I was yeah. kind of surprised that it, it wasn't already over. I thought it had been over for years. For two more years. No, yeah. I thought it'd been over for like the last five years. I didn't. I thought all. No, they've been were, going strong. I didn't. Um, it was the Carrie, bo- the Carrie Grant and who? Uh, Carrie Grant and Tori. And Tori. Uh, Carrie Byron, Grant Imahara, and uh, Tori Belichi. They were. Uh, they They're left the-, the show. Let's put it that way, because we don't know if they were fired or if they quit or if it was an amicable parting of the ways, as part of some vain restructuring attempt to get more viewership. I I think it was actually cutting down on it, on uh, expenses. Cost. Yes, yeah. I guarantee it. Yeah. Uh, but yes, the Bill team, uh, Kerry Grant and Tori, were uh, released from the show in 2014. So there was a 2015 series, 2016 series will be the final. And this will wrap up 16 years of the Mythbusters. Wow. And one of the interesting things that they're going to do with their season ending is they are going to have a Mythbusters marathon, as, of course, is true fitting fashion, uh, with every single episode from start to finish at oh, the wow. end of the season. So if you missed some, go get your little DVRs or your VCRs or, or whatever your internet streams. I think, <laughs> well, no, our, our, our audience probably knows what VCRs are. I don't think I've alienated anybody. No, no, no. Uh, it's totally fine. So, Brick, there are these things called... Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, so that's what I've got. Um, Mythbusters, Nintendo. Be sad for one, be happy for the other. Yeah. I'll leave that to your choice. Yep. I've got a, a couple other things here. What movie is this? Is this Run All Night? No. Looks like Taken 3. Oh, it's Taken 3? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to tell. It's Liam Neeson uh, kicking people's butts. Yeah. yeah, which he does in a lot of movies, and yeah. quite frankly, is kind of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> some other news: uh, Doom multiplayer alpha is uh, coming October twenty eighth. Okay. Um, so we're going to start seeing more and more of that. We'll see footage. More than likely, I know it's an alpha, uh, but somebody's going to break into gay. I wouldn't, but no. somebody will. Somebody will. Um, a little oh, and uh, Star Wars showed some pictures today 
of the Real ID 3D glasses. Okay. And I don't know if these are going to be the ones that they're uh, giving away in certain venues or not, but they're really cool because they're they're themed. Um, some of them are Stormtrooper, some of them are Zylo Ren, some of them are the the BB-8, okay. and then there's a Captain something or other, Captain Phasma or Phasma or something like that. Okay. Anyway. Oh, is it? Sweet. Cool. I like it. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Let's see here. Oh, uh, Maroon 5 is rumored to be the Super Bowl halftime show this year. The, this uh, this coming Super Bowl. Yeah, fine with it. Hooray, sports ball professionals. <laughs> Hooray for sports ball. <laughs> that's that's uh that's what you know that's good um yeah i had something else that just popped into my head just popped right back out maybe it'll come to me let's stall for time johnny play me off <laughs> da, 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 da. uh i had it and it, it's totally gone oh star wars there we go star wars other big news for the week if you've been living in a broom closet in uh or been shackled to a wall in some serial killer's basement for the better part of the past six months. The new Star Wars trailer came out this past week. Yeah, and it's pretty awesome. And with the new Star Wars trailer... Yes. ...came the inevitable internet trolls climbing out from beneath their rocks, underneath their They will do that, yes. ...and generating the hashtag... Star Wars is racist or something like that. Yeah. So basically, these idiots, these Neanderthals, if they are... Racist against white people, bro. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Is It's, oh my God, it's, <laughs> it's totally an anti-white movie because the lead is a, a feat. Woo, 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 woo. The other guy is black and... Uh, and I was unaware is, of this until oh you, uh, you told me. one of the dumbest things I've ever read on the internet. And I... I spent a lot of time on the internet i have lost many brain cells to the internet and yeah star wars is racist is kind of a trending topic right now uh there's also rumors i saw this that some person individual perhaps in the south i'm not going to name states but may have committed suicide because their the lead main lead character was black what? I, wait, that no, can't be no, true. I'm serious. Is that an actual? That's a real thing. This is a, a real article that I saw. I will pull it up for proof. <sighs> I will oh. cite my sources. Oh, but I mean, it's going like... to take me just a little bit to do it. Um, so, well, the, you know, if that's if that's actually true, it was bound to happen anyway because he had have to deal with such struggles as like Tuesday and life. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my. God, they're at tacos. Wow. You know, not to speak ill of the dead, but come on. Let's speak ill of the dead. No, I mean, like, that's, that's, uh, we're not supposed to feel sorry for her. For uh, so here's the article. Like I said, I will cite my sources. This is courtesy of Newswatch 33, which is a news website. Is he, is he completely unaware of the fact that light skinned individuals are a minority on this planet? Perhaps. Hmm. Is he completely okay. unaware that also, like, he could be psyched about literally almost every other movie in existence. <laughs> yeah. Like it wasn't like an Aziz on sorry bit where he was, he was talking about somebody was like, so you must be really psyched about all this slumdog millionaire stuff. And he's like, yeah, I guess. Cause you know, there's people that kind of look like me or having all this success and everything like that. It's like, wait a minute. Are white people just psyched all the time? Goodfellas, that's us. The Departed, that's us. Spider-Man, that's us. Star Wars, that's us. <laughs> Pretty much everything except for Boys in the Hood <laughs> and Slumdog Millionaire is us. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Newswatch 33, authorities have indicated that a 53-year-old Caucasian male was found dead in Charlotte, North Carolina. According to reports, a suicide note was found that read... Make America white again. Oh, well, that <laughs> that doesn't necessarily... That's not for, like, Star Wars. That He's just a dick. <laughs> Bobby Joe Garrison, age 53, of Charlotte, was known by his friends and family as a hardcore Star Wars fanatic. His wife, Sarah Garrison, was also a Star Wars fan, as both attended Comic-Con every year dressed as stormtroopers. <laughs> Weird. 
weird. <laughs> They're dressed as the people that are modeled after the SS. That's right. weird. According to <laughs> reports, Mrs. Garrison but arrived at her residence at approximately of, of, uh, of, 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 of a black man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, she arrived at her residence at approximately 5.15 when she discovered her husband unresponsive in his home office. She immediately dialed 911 while attempting to resuscitate her husband. Uh, let's see, she did CPR, empty bottle of meds, saw a note on near the bottle which said, Make America White Again. When I opened the letter, this is when I found out he committed suicide. Wow. Now... Okay. And then if you're really curious, the next uh, link on this article is woman arrested for trying on tampons in Walmart. I cannot make this up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, classy. Yeah. Stay classy, America. So, I mean, it was certainly not my intention to turn this into a political show. Um, For God's sakes, people, it's a movie. Get over it. Also, Darth Vader, one of the most prominent characters of, uh, let's go with the good movies, was Black uh, Hector. Yeah. 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 Famously so. Lando Calrissian. Lando Calrissian. Black. Black. I mean, Chewbacca? Who cares? (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) um, Well, for the here suit population, you know, people with perhaps lupus. Um, wow. So we're covered there. Oh, goodness. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. I, I make light because I love, but this is one of the most ridiculous things that I've heard this week. And like I said, I haven't done enough research to determine if this is something started by internet trolls <laughs> or if this is actually like a realistic thing, like somewhere out there <laughs> in the world, there are neo-Nazi skinheads going, but the main character in Star Wars is black. Two arms, brethren. Let us take to the internet. It probably is, which makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. No, that's uh, all I got. We'll, we'll let Brick well, At least he's no longer breathing our air. Yes. <laughs> Brick, do you need to take a drink? <laughs> <laughs> That is unfortunate. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> all right. So, we caught sh- Star Wars. Uh, apparently, is the hashtag associated with that? Ridiculous. Do not boycott. <laughs> Star- <laughs> Actually, you know what? Anybody who who can share who shares those views, welcome to boycott Star Wars. Absolutely. Yep. I don't want to share this. Yeah. Yeah, we're good with that. One of the last times I saw a Star Wars movie in the theater, I had to listen to that knucklehead who had his uh his headphones turned up so loud that the rest of us could hear him why what the what during the movie was a he had headphones? headphones on and he had music blasting so loud that we could hear it in the you know in the theater hmm. while the movie was going and at no point did any of you think to get up and piss right in his face <laughs> oh, I thought to do it. <laughs> Didn't actually do it. I think at some point somebody uh uh alerted him to the fact that he was disturbing those around him. Because uh <clears throat> pretty much the same age. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not overstating. <laughs> yeah. This is this is a pre Alamo here in Denver. Otherwise I would have liked to have seen him get booted. So booted. <laughs> Tuspoon. Yay, Alamo. There, there is an alarming amount of Helen's yes. the first Star Wars or the new Star Wars. You know, and it's not just Alamo. There are a couple other theaters that are doing the same thing. So, uh, <laughs> it is, except for the part that it's so far away. Well, that, that's not going to be a thing for you much longer. Uh, when, when does the new one open? At some point. <laughs> I don't know, but I know that it's on the website now. Oh, good. Good. good progress. Oh, that is progress. Um, that means they're starting to hire and all that stuff. But uh, uh, there was there was a guy I went to a Scream showing uh-huh. on, on the 11, and I love Scream. I love it so much. It's my favorite scary movie ever. But there was some guy, and I know you're not listening to this, but if you are, take note, <laughs> dude. <of your> dickishness. <laughs> Because I couldn't report you because you technically weren't dear, talking. Dear dickish man. But he's sitting, he's, I'm here, and he's like, there's a seat, an open seat, and then him next to me. 
And he's like mouthing the words and acting out almost every scene to the movie. And I oh, that's to, annoying. I wanted to elbow him in the throat. So was well, he, he making was, different voices? He's not. He wasn't talking because that's the rule at the Alamo. You can't talk. And so that's why, like, I couldn't report him because was he making, he was like, disturbing you though? Was he making he was like absent. different voice face? Yes. Yeah. So like, be yes. Like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. And then, like, there was there would be like songs yeah, that would come on in the movie. There would be like songs that come on, and he'd be like mouthing the words to the songs. And I just oh, oh. he's a fan. He's a big fan. Yeah, I don't care. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> You're the big fan that would like to enjoy the movie without. Yeah, I'm the big fan that would able. like to let the actors do the acting in the movie hey, because, because that's part of the reason why I enjoy the movie is because I enjoy the way they portray it, not some dickhole that deserves to get throat punched <laughs> while he's acting it out, sitting down in a dark room, watching them do it. Uh, so he's enthusiastic. Well, nope, nope, nope. Don't play devil's advocate here, okay? <laughs> Not even a little. Uh, I'm I'm enthusiastic when I watch porn. I don't go taking my dick out in public. <laughs> now wait a second. I think you've just crossed over <laughs> because, in reference to like behavior and stuff, I think it's okay when you're referencing genitalia i think it's it is no longer okay nope <laughs> same equivalency <laughs> acting acting out a movie in your seat in a theater is the same as pulling out your penis in public <laughs> okay same equivalency no i was talking about the uh the the word usage i don't understand words you can and cannot use <laughs> Words I can and cannot use? Or should and should not use. <laughs> like when? One of the two. Anyway. Uh, please continue. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> nope, I'm so, done. I no, just... no, no. What, what, what step did you take? I took no step. I took the step of... So... I took the step of putting my hand like this. So you allowed this enthusiastic fan... Yeah. ...to interrupt what may have been otherwise a pleasurable viewing experience. Yes. Why didn't you throw popcorn at him? <sighs> or notify an usher? Because I felt I, I would have felt like I was the dick if I if I notified an usher because he was like with friends and they weren't saying anything to him. Oh, then it's their fault. I would have locked somebody down for that. I would have been like, <laughs> "Brick, you need to stop." <laughs> and I would have been like, "No," and then you would have been like, "No, seriously." <laughs> and I would have been like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't want to see this when out of my peripheral when I'm trying it's, to watch a movie. Yeah, it, it's fine whenever it's a, a sing along or quote along or something like and that. They but have those. The Alamo has quote along right. for that specific reason. Yeah. Because yeah. I understand it, but this was in no way a quote along. No. Right. Nothing at all. Well, I'm I'm sorry to hear it. Lo siento, we. Can no es bueno. You're right. Need, uh. need a drink. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we've. Okay. Hey, we've, look, it's Forrest Whitaker. We've said <laughs> what? He said it's Forrest. <laughs> You good? All right. <laughs> Moving on. Sorry. Right. What else you got? Uh, I don't. I don't have anything else for news. Do you guys uh, uh-huh. want to do some week- weekly wedges? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? All right then. Uh, I'll go ahead and start. Yeah, you go ahead. <laughs> Will. What's yes. What? What you listening to? Uh, listening to this week, I have actually been listening to a lot of groove music, or what was formerly known as Xbox music, right? Which is. Which is formerly uh, Zune. Zune, yes, formerly yep. the Zune Music Service. Um, I have been enjoying it quite uh, quite a bit. I've actually been yeah. streaming inside my car because uh, I discovered that I pay for a lot of data and I never use it because I'm almost always on Wi-Fi. 
Right. But since I've been making longer and longer road trips, I've been using more and more cellular data because I pay a lot for a muffler. Yeah, you do. Uh, with a lot of things. It seems to be an ongoing theme of my life for the past couple of episodes. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, um, listen to the John Wick soundtrack on my way to work today. Um, how like, was that? It was good. It was, it was very good. Uh, new Silver Sun Pickups album, uh, Nine Inch Nails Radio, uh, Diablo. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Brick. Um, no, I'm good. Um, I had some uh, bachelor chow for dinner, so I actually am paying a little bit for that uh, small DiGiorno's frozen oh. stuffed crust cheese pizza. Uh, it's going to be great when I lie down. I should probably just swallow a bottle of Tums now. Uh, yeah. So, John Wick, uh, New Silver Sun Pickups album, Nine Inch Nails, uh, Diablo Swing Orchestra, a whole bunch of weird esoteric crap. This cool. So, Excellent. Yeah, good times. I like it. Ricola, did you listen to anything this week? I listen, I listen to a lot of uh, like my Apple Music subscription. You still have that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. Because I heard lovely. that Apple lost millions of subscribers once the free trial ended. Oh no, I really like that. Good, okay. good. Um, because yeah, they they it's 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 like Spotify. Um, okay. But they um, Spotify. I think I don't I don't really use Spotify, but I'm, it's my understanding. That they have like one like daily playlist for okay. you that's like tailored to your your likes and everything. Um, Apple Music has um, like three or four at the beginning of the day of like different artists. Okay. And or like they'll have you know like a, a morning playlist that has like a bunch of music. That you oh like. yeah, Groove does that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Re- recommend uh, recommended playlist yep. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Or recommended radio stations, actually. Like, or they'll have like they'll have like intro to the Foo Fighters or something. They'll have like some of like the Foo Fighters greatest hits, and then they'll have like Foo Fighters deep cuts where they'll have some of their lesser known okay. tracks and different things. Like kind of B sides and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. See, these are the these are the ones uh, recommended for me. Yeah. Bon Iver, Drive the ri- Dry the River, The Decemberist, Tallest Man on Earth, and Ministry. Right. Band and of then, Horses. Um, and they'll have like yeah. random playlists that'll be like, um, like uh, they had, I saw one that it was like Taylor Swift's 1989 was inspired by this. And they'll have like all the artists that oh, that's pretty cool. inspired okay. songs that were on. So they'll have playlists like that too. Um, and so I like just the variety of, cool. of playlists. Cool. Can you generate a playlist based on uh, people that have been sued for not necessarily copyright infringement? <laughs> hmm, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I was just wondering how specifically you can tailor it. I mean, I, I don't know exactly how specifically. Is it <laughs> Probably not that specific. Too specific? Yeah, probably not that specific. Too specific. It, like, when you first started, it, it asked you, like, gives you like a set of artists and it says like pick your favorite set of these and like the okay. level of favorites that you like them and then it'll give you more artists and you can pick from those and and then you know shoo away the ones you don't like at okay. all and it'll give you more until it's full and then it just learns like as, if you, if you, so you that, start skipping that actually app, that actually yeah. works a lot more like pandora right yeah. right and, and then like if you if Does... you listen to like a certain album or something like that outside of that It'll learn that, like, may, hey, maybe you like this artist, and okay. so it'll put that into the playlist or something like that. Or Here, let, let's see if it's actually running on the Pandora engine, though. You can you can verify this by answering a question. Um, does like no matter what you do, <laughs> does Eric Clapton and Tom Petty play? <laughs> okay, it's not actually running on Pandora. Then it's just a similar <laughs> similar service. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, yeah. <laughs> that was that was my uh, my hell at the store. I tried to try to maintain a petty free zone, yeah, but it just didn't. It, it didn't. It didn't. Yeah. Hey, let's say. Let's say. 
Well, I'm glad, uh, glad it's working for you. Um, while you were figuring all that out, I uh, pulled up that they've got 6.5 million subscribers and may, wanna, may be one of Apple's new billion dollar industries. Oh, good. Good, good. I, I do enjoy the data that I would have to use if I wanted to use it for my car. But right. That's, that's within a streaming service. Right, <laughs> sure. So. For sure. Well, do you have the ability to download for offline play? Um, sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, so you could, you could download that playlist while you're at the house and then while you're on Wi-Fi and then while you're on the road, play them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that takes preparation. Roger that. Roger that. Go. Jeff? Good. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. I mean, just, there was a bunch of stuff in there. So there was a bunch of right. Down. I listened to a couple episodes of Gamer Tag Radio. And um, I don't know if, uh, if you guys heard, but they are now doing two shows a week. I heard that because crazy. we talked about it last week. Okay. Perfect. That's the only way I want um, to know. Right. And then I also listened to an episode of the Nerdist podcast yep. with Chris Hardwick. And his guest was Mark Paul Gus, Gusselar, Gusselar. Oh, Zach. Zach Morris. Yeah, yeah, Zach. From Saved by the Bell. Zach. Yeah. What, what's, uh, what's old Zach up to these days? Uh, he's got a new show uh, now that Franklin and Bash is over. Uh, he's got a new show called Truth Be Told. I have not seen it. But that's uh, that's what he's up to, and no, no, it's a it's a network television show. Um, but he uh, he's pretty funny, okay. notably funny on the show. So there you go. Fair enough. Yep, that's uh, that's it for what I've been listening to. Bellhelm, what you watching? Oh, a whole bunch of crap as usual. Um, I watched the Uninvited, which is a mediocre to fair horror movie uh horror suspense it's called the uninvited um i may have seen this stars the young lady who was in lemony snicket's series of unfortunate events she was baby doll in i think i did see this Uh, basically something about a door yeah something about a door uh nobody looked impressed yeah Uh, yeah uh, yeah, basically, she's the younger sister of two, and dad's wife dies under mysterious circumstances in a fire, and now there's a new woman, and then there's the ghosts, and the ghosts are saying, hey, you should drive the new woman out of your dad's life, and supernatural shenanigans and hijinks and murders occur, and we go from there. Okay. Um, what else did I watch? Um I've watched a lot of reruns just because you know a lot of things will pop up on the premium cable channels while I'm sitting and working. Hey, malware bites uh, again. And uh, so I'll just flip to one that doesn't suck as badly as the rest of them. Uh, I caught first half of John Wick the other day. I caught the last half. It's a good of, movie. Uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Also a good movie. So, Actually, Winter Soldier is a great movie. It is a great movie. Uh, it's so just a lot of whatever's been on cable. I've barely been home. Um, yeah, I've been on the road a lot. So, uh, yeah, just that? Some pieces here. I haven't had the, uh, normally when my wife goes out of town, as you, uh, eternal listeners and viewers know, I, I tend to splurge on the Netflix crap movie marathon just to That's get true. that all out of my system so that I can enjoy the better stuff. And... I haven't really had the opportunity to delve into the crap movie dumb, so that's that's terrible, Will. I know. Other than two weeks ago, like I said on the podcast, I watched uh, Dungeons and Dragons Circle Two Thousand. Who? You know, it's. I've decided that while my barometer may be be screwed up as far as what's entertaining versus quality. Yeah. It's fine. When I can walk away from something and go, why did I do that? It's got to be a terrible movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Probably. I when when I can sit back and say critically with no unabashed shame or delusions that that was in fact a waste of time. 
it was probably a bad movie. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did watch the new American Horse, uh, new American, uh, the latest episode, Lady Gaga thing, Vampires, Hotels, <laughs> Bedrooms. Watched the second episode. American Horror Story. Yes, thank you. Hotel. Hotel. Thank you. That was a mouthful. American Horrors. Hor- <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, American Horror Story Hotel. I watched the second episode. Um, still trying to get into the flow of this one. Uh, I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, I'm... Not, not enjoying it. <laughs> well, no, I'm just I'm not as immediately enraptured as I have been with previous seasons. So. I think Lady Gaga is awesome. Yeah, oh, she's doing a fantastic job. Yeah, I didn't, um, I didn't watch last season, and I haven't started watching this season. I, I, I yeah. so far she's my favorite actor on the uh, on the show. Yep, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, she's doing a great job. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, I watched the I watched the the first two seasons and the first four episodes of the third season of Agents of Shield. Kevin, oh, Agents of Shield, we've switched. Yep. And oh, I love Rick, it, Rick. Rick, tell everybody how much you love it. I love it now. After having previously hated it, I love it now. It's so good. We should go look through the archives. <laughs> There's a and, lot, and just play that loop again, <laughs> where he sits there and he goes, "I can't stand this TV show. It's the worst thing I've ever seen." I'm Jeff, why are you watching it. this? Why are you watching this? This is a waste of time. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rant, 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 rant. No, it's good. It's fine. It's 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 good though. He's allowed. I'm allowed to change. Yeah, especially I not for the better. To judge, believe me. <laughs> Changing for the better uh, is always allowed. It Will. is always allowed. I'm still also not allowed to judge. Unless it's actually crap. It's right. like it's not actually crap. Though. Okay. Well, that's oh, good. Oh, my it's okay. God. It's so not crap. Okay. You've been binging on this, correct? You said you watched yeah, like, like five, five hours. episodes a night. Yep. Wow. A lot. That is a lot. Because, you know, we got to catch it. <laughs> I was like, oh, the new season's starting. Uh, I guess I'll start that again. <laughs> Why not? Anything else? Um. No, I haven't really had time for anything else. I did. Nice. I didn't watch Back to the Future Parts One and Two at the Alamo last night. Good. Nice. Where they gave us uh, pint glasses with the DeLorean on them and little nice. little matchbooks that um, were from Biff's um, auto detailing. Auto detailing. Yeah. Nice. It's a little Biff's matchbook. <laughs> awesome. Um, Isn't that the Pleasure Palace or Pleasure Dome or whatever? No, there's nothing on the back. It just says Biff's on the. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it's it was fun. Yep. Right on. And I, there's been other things at the Alamo, but if it wasn't at the Alamo, I was watching Agents of Shield for like the past two or three weeks. Fair enough. Right on. Jeff, <laughs> I'm sensing a, a lull in the conversation, and I'm seizing okay. the opportunity to segue to you. Perfect. Uh, I've been watching the The Walking Dead. I'm up to date on that, and it's uh, it's been pretty good this season. Okay. Um, also watching Limitless, the series. You said that was pretty decent. You yeah, it's it was... pretty decent. I'm a couple episodes behind because it's one that Kristen and I are watching together. Yep. And so we don't really have a whole lot of time where we have where, where we can watch something together. So a yep. um, little behind on that one. I think we've seen through episodes one through three, and there are five. So. All right. Uh, caught up on a, a little bit on From Dust to Dawn, the series. Okay. That one's okay. It's not great. Yeah, what little of it I saw on his channel was meh. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty meh. Uh, continuing to watch The Voice past the auditions because Gwen Stefani. All right. I I can't judge. I yeah, would, I no, yeah. did you did either of you take the BuzzFeed quiz? No. Guess no. the younger which uh, guess the younger Gwen Stefani. Oh, <laughs> I failed. <laughs> I think anybody She's would a vampire. feel that. She looks younger now. She's than, a vampire. I, fa- than I, got, I remember her I got, looking. There were seven comparison images. Mm-hmm. I got three out of seven. 
Wow. I, I'm fairly convinced. I'm the actually reason, impressed. The reason why she and Gavin Rossdale split was because he could no longer justify what she does to young children by draining them of blood and sustenance. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I or think, maybe I he, it's could, a vanity thing and, and he continued to get older and I'm, he stayed the same. I'm right. I'm pretty. I'm I pretty, can't do this anymore. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure I could deal with the draining children of their blood. That's fine. Okay. That's Good effect. Yeah. As long as it's Gwen Stefani. Yep. All yep. Right. I could deal I could deal with I mean child murder is that's rough. But, I mean <laughs> you know, that's that's kind usually I mean, a relationship deal breaker. With, with a with a lot of women that would be a deal breaker. Yeah. That would be a that would be a big deal breaker. Yeah. Um, with her you'd make an exception. So this is like your crackers in bed kind of thing. You're good with this, but <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if she if she ate crackers in bed, she'd have to go. <laughs> it's, it's as long as bad. we're still establishing a bar of common sense, <laughs> I mean, right. I mean, I'm not a madman. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting show tonight. Yeah, it like really it. is. Interesting show. It really is. We we've learned a lot. We have learned so much. We've, we've explored some new territory. I mean, guys, yeah. I have standards. Let's be yeah, let's right. Be clear. I'm sorry. Oh, your, your standards otherwise. are clear. They are clear. Uh, so, uh, um, that's supposed to be I, <laughs> I, I watched the uh, Yelp reviewer episode of uh, oh, South Park. And I did too, actually. So yeah. Funny. No, no, because like the whole episode is like that's pretty funny, and then the last like three minutes. I oh, can't say it. Did, like, I, it's so wildly inappropriate. But did, did <laughs> like you? It's hear wildly the, inappropriate for me. Did you hear the good news about this? What? Uh, they're getting sued by the founder of Yelp. They're actually not, though. No, it was, it I I, I thought that was a serious thing. Also. I thought it was a serious thing, and then and then somebody as, as a blog on on NBC. Uh, or on uh, Nine News, I guess. See, that's too bad because I I I. I I saw the reaction, and I'm making finger quotes now that I know. Have you seen? Have you seen what, what we're talking about? Though? No, I've not seen the episode. Oh well, let's just end the episode right now and show. Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's not end it just yet. Yeah, not we yet. Should finish, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see, no, that that oh. kind of makes me sad because I actually thought that it it would have been awesome if they actually had been getting sued with it because I would have loved to have seen them destroy somebody in court with their usual South Park shenanigans. Yeah. Um, so now I'm all heartbroken and sad. Oh, that's okay. It'll be all right. I didn't. Maybe they'll it. actually get sued at some point. Maybe they will. Maybe. We can dream, Any, gang. <laughs> anything could happen. <laughs> Maybe the creators of South Park could get sued again one day. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the Church of Scientology tried, so. Oh, probably. <sighs> So, so I also watched American Horror Story Hotel. Yes. Um, up to date on that. Enjoying it. Uh, the new season of Homeland is great. Okay. Um, enjoying that. Um, Hawaii Five O still sucks, but I still watch it. <laughs> and then I did see the Back to the Future trilogy. Good. So I, that was cool. I watched the first two in the theater, and I went home and watched the last one at the house. Oh, really? Because I was tired of sitting in the theater. For as long as I had been. I didn't. I just didn't watch the third one. Dude. I've seen it. I just didn't watch it yesterday. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I I actually had not seen it. What? Really? I was completely unaware of this fact. I, you know, I am so, you know, pop culture saturated with it that I assumed that I had seen it, but I had not seen it. I see. I turn on and off car alarms with this water bottle. I, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, um, and then I, I'm also glad you clarified that it was a water bottle. <laughs> that changes everything. <laughs> that changes everything. Okay, well, we have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were Back to the Future poser. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've now seen it, so you don't have to worry anymore. Hmm. And then I mean, it, has, it has great cameos. Yeah, it does. You have ZZ Top. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Singing Double Back, mm -hmm. a and song the, written and performed by ZZ Top. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I also watched Martian. Okay. What'd you think? It was quite good. Good. Yeah. 
And there are a ton of people in that movie. Yes. So many people. All star cast. All star cast. It's not so just people. Matt Damon. No. Oh, wait. I just saw Crimson Me too. Oh, how was that? Was that? That's a horror movie by Guillermo del Toro that just came out on the 16th. Oh, interesting. With yeah. Tom Hiddleston yeah. and the young lady that was in Tim Burton's remake of Alice in Wonderland, whose name I can't remember, but looks vaguely yeah, like she was. Yeah. Sure. She looks oh vaguely God, like she was down. in. <laughs> <Wizzowski>? <laughs> Wizzow, 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 it's the <laughs> Wait, Wait, Wigger Man Jensen Smith. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Brick. Brick. Stop. <laughs> we do not jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. And Jessica Chastain. Or man. <laughs> right. Jessica Chastain. Gotcha. What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, uh, so Jeff, I'm I'm moving us on, Brick. Bless you. Uh, okay, can we can we move on to the what you play? It's, it's too late. It's lost. Hey, so uh, this week I played a little bit. I'm just gonna plow right on ahead. I'm totally ignoring you. Which you might one, Mike three. Mike four. He's Mike four. Right. <laughs> Just in case you need to know, it's, it's me a wheat cow. Wheat cow. Get, get off my bike. All right. Uh, this week, just a little bit of destiny. That's it. Not a lot. Like I said, barely been home. So yeah, I I continue to not play destiny. Yes. Rick, have you been playing anything this week? What you playing? Um, I. Not this week because it's too much Agents of Shield, but I did recently play Destiny. Nice, oh, right on. I'm just I'm just coming full circle on everything that I used to hate. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to say it this time. Yeah. Uh, well, because the Taken King is way better. Yeah, that's great. They did it, stuff. It, it, it can be. It. it can be better. It can be better. And um, that and Phantom Pain. Yeah. Okay. Are the Excellent. most recent things that I've played. All right. Are you, are you still good. playing Destiny on the PS4? No. Okay. I'm playing it on the Xbox. Oh, nice. That's good. So I don't. It's work. like half a raid right here. You just uh, said that they're more weird. Except that, yeah, except that I don't the, have Taken King. And also that I'm only a level 25. <sighs> well, that's about what level I am, I think. But mine was free. I oh, no. I, I do. <laughs> mine was 31. <laughs> I didn't have to work for it. <laughs> oh, because you you entered in the, the yeah, like because I was working for it, and I got to about level six or so, and then one of my coworkers was like, "You know, you can just you can just upgrade to to level twenty five. That's part of the thing with the Taken King." I was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> and yeah. So I just went home and did that. Forgot to read perfect. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. Cool, Jeff. Is that it? Um. Played a wee tiny bit of Fallout Shelter. Yeah. And I also played a little bit of Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, yeah. Kind of uh, got in there and cleaned up the guild bank and, Scrubbed and uh, played a little bit. Knocked the cobwebs out. Well, I, I uh, condensed items. I freed up about 200 spaces. So, hmm. I, so it was, was a maintenance was run. way in there. It was a maintenance run for the most part. I did, I did actually play a little bit, but not much. Yep. And then um, played a little bit more of uh, Valiant Hearts. Okay. Valiant Heart, the Great War. Good. And enjoy Which it. is very cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it makes me excited because um, we did indeed get Season 1 of Walking Dead as a, a free game, and that is still available. We were unsure last week if it was still going to be available, but it is still available. Both and, those games, and, Valiant Heart. And I and, went and I checked, and I did, in fact, pay for it. So no free game for me. Oh, <laughs> but you you uh and you I, paid I for a wolf among ago. this yes also yeah. right yeah, yeah okay. I, paid for that. I bought those months ago gotcha so um years ago as a matter of fact. i guess the only thing is like if whether or not you opted in for the nxoe if you're a preview member yeah. member you're about to get the nxoe good so 
It's coming to you start, live. Start rolling out. Yeah, people have had some problems with it. I had straight out of Richmond. I had some problems with Hulu, where it would start playing an episode, but then say no. I have experienced a couple it's of glitches with the new Xbox Live experience or new Xbox One experience. Yeah. Whatever it is. New yep. X experience. Um, I have encountered a couple of strange glitches. I've had my Xbox shut off randomly a couple of times. Okay. Uh, but then I'll reboot and everything seems to be working. Uh, Showtime Anytime doesn't seem to be working at all. For Showtime Have you... Xbox One. I have deleted and reinstalled and... Um, the only thing that I've ever found to fix uh, update issues with the Xbox completely is completely unplug it, power it off, and yeah. start from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done that yet because bad back. No, no calling around behind TVs for me. Right, right. But well, that's the, that's days. the I that's the only a thing. Small neighborhood neighborhood kid with wee hands. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but that's that's about it for me. Uh, Valiant Heart is great. If you have an Xbox One, I recommend it. Uh, go and go and download it. It's you just know, a little side scroller. Even if it's on Steam, you don't even good. have to be particularly coordinated. Um, the only exception to that would be the uh, QTEs for the medic character. Yeah. Those get a little tricky. Tricky. tricky yes. Tricky, yeah. If you will. Yeah. yeah. For sure. But that's about it. All right, let's go ahead and wrap it up, fellas. Wait. I got to get home. I've got to be uh, up for work early, early, early. Should we explain the whole thing? No, no. no just leave it. <laughs> just leave it. We shouldn't mention anything about Stephen nope. Colbert. Nope. Okay. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Hey, have a good night, y'all. This has been episode 348, PGL Lobbycast. Thanks for listening. Please like, share, comment. Uh, tell us what we can do to improve your lives. Uh, we won't do anything about it, but you can tell us what we can do to improve your lives. But hey, if you tell us what to do about the show, we may listen to that. Um, um, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, I'm not ruling it out. We make no guarantees. That's right. But hey, episode 348 in the books. Ready? Go. Go.